James Kaufman, World News Report, today, January 3rd, 2025. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had an X1.2 solar flare that happened around 1140 UTC time, which means it happened about 540 here centrally this morning. Now, we can tell from our GOES X-ray flux that that's really the only substantial flare that we've been hit with all day long. And it did, in fact, hit Earth, although I don't know if the coronal mass ejection will be headed this way. Heading over to spaceweatherlive.com, we can see that X1.21 was the strongest flare from the last 24 hours, the last 72 hours. Everything we've seen generated today Although everything else is a C flare, came from Sunspot AR 3947. Although I will say that it looks like on Ghost Solar Ultraviolet Viewer that we're having another flare currently. We have a 10% chance of having an X class flare today, a 55% chance of having an M class solar flare today, and we're running a C baseline, so that should be 100% in my opinion. All right, taking a look at Gong and Tensegram. Remember, SDO is still down per the flood in the Stanford basement where our servers are with no backups. You look at the Earth facing side of our solar disk, and we have, let's see, six, nine, 11 sunspot groups Earth facing, 3947 or sunspot group AR3947 is the sunspot that expelled the X1.2 solar flare. And I think we'll see some activity from 3945. They're both beta gamma. They're not delta sunspots, but they are capable of producing an X flare, as we just saw. Headed over to GOES, solar ultraviolet imager 195 angstroms we can see that we've just been passed by two huge coronal holes that came out of nowhere so we could very well have an uptick in solar winds NOAA has put out a geomagnetic storm warning for tomorrow the fourth you can also see ar 3947 continuing to act up and AR3945 right there getting into the mix. This is real-time stuff here and may or may not have hit our ghost x-ray flux. So, headed over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center, we see the direct hit over South Africa and the Atlantic of the x-ray. And I shouldn't really say direct hit because this looks more like a glancing blow. It was not a lot of radio alternation or degradation, and I don't see a hot red spot either. My guess is if this did create a chromomass ejection, it's not going to be headed this way. And they have modeled the X flare, as you can see, heading off to directly hit Venus here, as you can see. Now, we do have a geomagnetic storm warning again for tomorrow, January 4th, 2025. Just a heads up. Not quite sure uh, what's going to hit us, if it's this glancing blow or what's going on. Of course, Earth is this yellow dot, and we'll have to keep an eye on it. God bless you and yours. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.